Blonsky. After his victory, Shane Oblonsky improves his record to 9-2, and two, known as Hurricane Shane. You know, the bright lights of glory did not affect him in his debut, really taking it to Vinicius and earning that first victory. Very aggressive. The big thing here, he's a very, very big featherweight, and he's a featherweight that uses his size, not just technical and, and staying on the outside with his reach. He's putting his weight on you. Heavy punches, punching downward at you, putting his body on you with those knees, and he, you always got to work hard with him. And that's going to be the telltale. Can Varga deal with the size of Oblonsky? I've never seen a fighter so excited to have two fights in one night. Shane Oblonsky is a young breath of fresh air. He fought his way through a back and forth three round battle in his semi to take a unanimous decision. Here is Gabriel Varga. An impressive 24 and two record for the young Canadian Gabriel Varga. Came into tonight's fight ranked number five in the featherweight division. And Duke, break down the numbers for this championship fight. Well, again, Owanski, very big fighter. You're going to see in the stats that he's got the height advantage and he came in a little heavier, but you can see the size advantage in the ring. He's a bigger man, and that's going to be the telltale. Can Varga handle that size, or is he going to succumb to the size of Owanski? Ladies and gentlemen, this contender tournament final is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he has a professional record now, nine and two, standing six feet even, 1.83 meters. He weighed in at fight time at 145 pounds, 65.8 kilos, fighting tonight out of California, USA. Here is Hurricane Shane Oblonsky. Here now is his opponent, standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner. His professional record now runs to 24 and 2, 3 and 1 in his glory career. At 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters. He weighed in at 142 and 1 half pounds, 64.7 kilos. He fights tonight out of Toronto, Canada. Here is Gabriel Varga. Your referee for this matchup is Marcos Rosales. Gabriel. Gentlemen, we've already gone over the rules, all right? Let's have a good clean fight, good three rounds. Good luck. Fight! Final instructions, and we are set in this featherweight contender tournament championship final. Shane Oblonsky in the black gloves with the blue shorts and Gabriel Varga in the black and white gloves. Low kick delivered by Varga. And right away, you gotta wonder, you can see the left thigh of Gabriel Varga. Big welts on that one. He took a beating in that first round. Will that be a factor in this championship fight? Well, I think he's already adjusted his fight style. If you saw when he get, went against Sitmon Chai, only came forward. In this fight, he's hitting and then moving. I don't think he wants to be in front of the big power of Oblonsky. Oblonsky is a big, powerful fighter. Some Muay Thai boxing background. If he were a chef, he doesn't mind getting a little sauce on his apron. He gets in there and gets a little dirty to make a masterpiece. He's very aggressive, and that type of style is going to wear you out. Go! As Varga was going in for a knee, took a low blow from Oblonsky. Combinations and body shot lands from Oblonsky. Fighters Get clinch Stop. and are broken up. Go! You can clinch, but you need to attack with the knees almost immediately. Spinning back fists from 
Gabriel Varga misses. Body shot, though, lands from Varga. Again, unlike the semifinals in this championship match, three knockdowns in the bout. Big front kick lands from Gabriel Varga. Let go. Four knockdowns in the fight will terminate the match. And here comes Oblonsky back. Let go. Knee in a combination blocked by Varga. And you can see that Let size go. advantage. And, he, and it looks like he rocked Varga a little bit. He cannot stay in front of Oblonsky, and it's going to be all over. Let go. Fighters pushing the pace, acting like they haven't already fought Go. nine minutes already. Under a minute to go in round number one. And here comes Shane Oblonsky, peppering Gabriel Varga. Varga spins out of it, though. It looked like he was hurt there for a minute. Low kick from Varga. Follows with a nice right. Watch that hands going in there. Chab from Varga gets through. Again, these tournaments are all about digging deep. I tell you, it's a tough task to fight. Not one, but two people in one night. Especially if you're sore from one Stop fight on already. Stop on the bell, gentlemen. Stop on the bell. Oh, what a strong finish here by both fighters. Wow, what a round. These guys are going for it. Back and forth. That one's hard to score. Now we go to our Gold Bond locker room cam where you see the legend, Mirko Krokop, stretching it out. Tonight's locker room cam is brought to you by Gold Bond Powder Spray. The legend, Mirko Krokop, stretching it out. He's done this a long time, Duke. Great to see him back in glory, making his kickboxing debut on U.S. soil. I don't know how old he is. He made his K-1 debut on the same card as me in the 90s. That that old? Yeah, just go. kidding. 39 years young, Mark Mirko piece, Krokop. Piece, let's go! Well, Blonsky fell to the canvas to end that first round, but it was not ruled a knockdown. So we are in round number two. Shayna Blonsky in the blue shorts and spinning back fist by Gabriel Varga. Pushes Oblonsky back. Varga has had a lot of success with the spinning back fist and those front kicks. Don't push, don't push, Gabriel. I'm surprised that, uh, there it is, he's not going after that busted up leg. I think that could set up a knockout punch. If he stays on the leg and then goes back upstairs for Oblonsky, he, he could get some payoff from that. There he goes again, actually. Fighters exchange and Varga gets through. Spinning kick to the body delivered from Varga. Oblonsky retaliates with a kick to the thigh and now he's going to work on that front leg. You know, that's something we saw that Bazooka Joe did against uh, Raymond Daniels, staying on those legs in the tournament. It works. Varga pushing Oblonsky into the corner. Our referee will separate them. Great action here in the second round. And I think his coach uh, for Oblonsky, Colin Oyama, he saw that and he's asking for it. Smart advice. Combination from Oblonsky. Uppercut from Varga. Watch those push kicks from Varga. Seems to be finding his zone there, there and his target. Jab from Varga. Varga's doing a good job. He throws the low kick and he uses that to set up either his liver hook, body hook, or uh, he'll come back with the hook on top in the right hand. Nice high kick. Oblonsky caught the kick and knocked him down, but that does not count as a knockdown here in Floyd. Comes back action. Fighters exchanging in the center of the ring. Pushes Oblonsky back yeah. up against yeah. the ropes. Let's go. Come on. Incredible pace here for two fighters who have already fought once tonight. 
just missing with the flying knee is Gabriel Varga. Varga's been doing a good job. He snuck a knee up in the face earlier in the fight. He's doing a good job of sneaking knees in. I like the mixture of his strikes. Oblonsky does not want to stay up against those ropes. We are under 30 Stop. seconds to go in round number two. Oh. Glory Featherweight Contender Tournament Championship. Don't push. Don't push. Straight Get up. from Gabriel Varga. Stop on the Gets bell. through. Referee splits him up, and the fighters end this round with a flurry. Back and forth action, Duke. Tough one to call. Who do you give that round to? Man, I don't know. This fight is so close. I I'm just sitting here as a fan going, man, this is awesome. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not being an expert right now. I'm being a fan. I love this fight. Great action. Again, it it it's the power game of Oblonsky. He's got those hard punches. He's starting to pick up his low kicks. He got Varga, who's mixing it up. He's got the knees, spin kicks, uh, crispy boxing combos, going upstairs, downstairs. It's a very fun fight and hard one to score. Back and forth action without a doubt as we get ready for the third and final round. Anyone's fight at this point between Gabriel Varga and Shane Oblonsky. Oblonsky late in getting his mouthpiece, but now we are ready. Who wants it more? Who has enough gas left in the tank to become champion? Watch your hands, watch your hands. I'm impressed Get with Varga's ability in, in the sixth round of fighting in a tournament tonight, and he's having no problem picking up front kicks to the face. He's got great gas in his tank. Gabriel Varga comes in with a 24 and 2 record. A lot of success in this sport. But this would be a huge win for him. He could pull it off. Huge win for either of these guys. Shane Oblonsky making his glory debut tonight. Varga loves those flying knees, but it's Oblonsky that lands one to the body. From the clinch, Oblonsky lands a couple knees. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Varga moving forward with the knee. He's following it up with the straight shots. Oblonsky blocking a lot of those. Right now, whoever controls the watch center the cut, of the ring, the what that means is the guy who is pushing the other guy back onto the ropes is going to win this fight. And it's a close one. And now Oblonsky's looking to rally and push Varga on the ropes. The chance of USA echoing down from the forum here in Los Angeles for the local product, Shane Oblonsky. Varga almost reminds me of a great Canadian who used to reside here, the great one, Wayne Gretzky. He had some success in this building, no doubt about it. Fighters clinch and are broken up. Well, a quote from Gretzky that works in fighting, if you don't shoot, you don't score, and you gotta shoot in glory. Well put, another push kick from Varga, but that one was blocked by Oblonsky. We've got one minute left in this third and final round. Spinning back kick from Varga. Stop! At this point, it's just who's got that heart? Varga has a special heart. He's, he's doing jumping knees, spinning strikes. That takes a lot of daring in a championship round fight. The last round of the fight taking risky moves. At this point, you want to make a flurry. Make sure the judges remember. And there's a big shot from Varga. Under 20 to go. Stop! Go! Knee up. from Varga. Go. Separated again. Ten seconds! Let go! And this one Let's is going to go the distance. Time! What a fight between Gabriel Varga and 
Shane Hoblowski. Even that man is impressed. Gene Simmons of KISS. He wants to rock and roll all night. The decision coming up next. Well, this was a very close fight, Duke. Back and forth, Shane Oblonsky and Gabriel Varga. Tough one to call. It's in the hands of the judges now. I mean, looking at the overall fight, who you give the edge to? I'm going to lead uh, unpatriotic, unfortunately, and, and go with the Canadian. Uh, I, I, I think he, uh, he put in the work and the volume to win this fight. Great performance by both fighters. Um, as a fan, I'm sitting here going, wow, I have the best seat in the house for this incredible fight. But right now, we might have a sudden victory. We might be going. We might get an, an extra treat. Well, we've seen that before. A sudden victory round. That's what makes Glory so great. Just settle it in the ring. They give the fighters every opportunity to do so. Check out Gabriel Varga being worked on from his crew. I tell you, the, the, the trophy they're fighting for is very special. It's near and dear to our matchmaker, Core Hammer. Um, his late great stepson was the great Ramon Deckers, one of the greatest kickboxers ever to grace the rings. Um, the trophy is a duplicate of the cup that Ramon won when he beat the great Nampon from Thailand. His first big international fight in Paris, and it's a throwback to the history of our sport and the greatness and the tradition that Glory wants to keep in kickboxing. Almost our Stanley Cup, if you will. Without a doubt. Incredible history. The Decker's Cup will be awarded to the Featherweight Contender Tournament champion. I know my man Ramon is looking down from heaven, just going, wow, look what the sport's become. He, he touched so many people on this planet. I mean, even uh, Mike Tyson knew him, and when he passed away, that, 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 that was a tough day for me. I mean, he was the, the king of my era of fighting. Uh, he was an innovator, him and his father, with kickboxing. They really brought boxing. And go, go on YouTube it, it, if you're listening worldwide, man. The guy just changed our sport and he was fun to watch and even the great Mike Tyson was sad when he left this earth. But that being said, uh, we got our Decker's Cup and it's going to be presented here soon. He definitely left us much too early. And he is missed by the entire kickboxing community. Um, but that's what these kids are doing. They're trying to cement their legacy and become that. Just like me when I was a kid. I'm hoping this guy's in the house tonight, Benny the Jet or Kitas. I saw him fight when I was five years old. He's one of the greatest kickboxers of all time. And then one of my other heroes is Rob Common and, and uh, Samat Payakarun from, from Thailand. But point is, uh, these new kids remind me so much when I was a kid watching the, the hunger. And the, he, the only thing they don't remind me of, they're way better than me. They're they're They're... They're fitter, they're more athletic, and they got more skills. I love the evolution of kickboxing, and Glory is evolving our sport to the next level. Gabriel Varga, he got by Yod Kumpon Sitman Chai in that first round, and Shane Oblonsky, of course, he beat Marcus Vinicius to get to this point. It's got to be killing these guys especially with a very close fight as they wait for the judge's decision. Back in LA for Glory 17, nonstop action in that Glory Featherweight Contender Championship Final. And tonight's highlights are brought to you by 300 Rise of an Empire. Own the Blu-ray this Tuesday, digital HD available now.
And here we are, we're taking a look at, at action. Again, beautiful front kick that snapped Oblonski's head back. Then he mixes it up and goes to the body shot. Oblonski with his own offense, rips an upper, got a hook, coming back with three, four hard straights with that big featherweight body, slamming Vargas. Then again in the second round, spin back fist off the miss hook, followed by a knee, coming back with body shots. Well-rounded attack there. And then in the third, that sneaky right hand inside, inside low kick, outside low kick. Oblonski peppering the shots. Again, good uppercut on the inside. Wicked exchanges by both fighters. Very close fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we turn it over to the judges' scorecard. And they score this bout 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28. A unanimous decision for your contender tournament winner, who now also gets an automatic berth into the World Championship Tournament later this year, Gabriel Varga! Well, there you have it. Gabriel Varga is your featherweight contender tournament champion, winner by way of unanimous decision. Ladies and gentlemen, here to present the Ramon Deckers Trophy, our glory chairman, Pierre Anderon. And with the certificate, our head of talent operations, Mr. Cor Hammers. Gabriel Varga, our champion after two hard fought fights. Tournament champion earns the cup in a very impressive performance tonight by the 29-year-old from Canada. It is time for your headline bout of the evening. Revenge is on the mind of one of our next two fighters. For the other, a chance for yet another first in a storied career. Mir 